It was a long shot asking the former Prime Minister of Great Britain to give a speech at Westminster College in Fulton, Missouri of all places, to deliver the annual John Findlay Green Lecture. It was President Harry Truman, though, who put in a good word for the school in his home state, and Churchill accepted. Churchill and Truman spent three days together on the trip to Jefferson City, playing poker and getting to know one another. And they got the red carpet treatment when they got to Fulton. Some estimates put the crowd at about 20,000, plus a large press contingent. The newsreel cameras were documenting the day that Winston Churchill came to this quiet little town and delivered a wake-up call to the world. From Stettin in the Baltic, to Trieste in the Adriatic, an iron curtain has descended across the continent. Those are the words remembered in what today is called the Iron Curtain speech. But it was not the Iron Curtain line that initially caught the attention of the world that day in 1946. Churchill called the speech the sinews of peace. And with Britain declining and the U.S. growing as a world power, he called for an Anglo-American alliance to face the communist threat. Neither the sure prevention of war nor the continuous rise of world organization will be gained without what I have called the fraternal association of the English-speaking people. Within a few days, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin reacted, calling Churchill a warmonger. And President Truman, who was on the stage during the speech, he initially tried to distance himself from Churchill's remarks. But as events began to unfold in the following months, it became clear that Truman shared Churchill's concerns about communist expansion. Fifteen years later, with the construction of the Berlin Wall, the East-West Division, the descent of the Iron Curtain was set in concrete. Churchill died in 1965. His symbolism had become reality. Eight sections of the Berlin Wall now stand on the Westminster campus. The sculpture titled Breakthrough is the work of Churchill's granddaughter, artist Edwina Sands. It was dedicated in November 1990, one year after the wall was opened. The speaker that day was former President Ronald Reagan, the man who once challenged Mikhail Gorbachev to tear down this wall. Well, today we come full circle from those anxious times. And in 1992, Gorbachev himself, also now out of power, came to Westminster to speak before the remnants of the wall. It was 46 years after Churchill here had warned of the Iron Curtain. <laughs>